Hey peoples, Arthwomp here, and welcome to episode 60 of A Sturdy Investigation 2. Last time, we basically were coming to the... We were going around, we basically proved that Blaze was involved in SS5 along with Patricia Rowland, and we are using Little Thief to investigate the crime scene area. Now let's just go here. It's a swing decker at the face of an elephant. It looks like there's some kind of motor attached to the other side of the elephant. There's one... That's one thought that has crossed my mind of every top class swinger. If only I could do a full 360. With the, pow with the powerful motor rotating the swing, that dream could finally be achieved. Rotating with a motor, but wouldn't that be dangerous? Mr. Edgeworth, you can't fulfill your dreams unless you're willing to take some risks. Is that the real problem here? Okay, let's get the flower beds. Let's get the flower beds. A flower bed. According to the data, this facility had three gardens. And each of these gardens contain three flower beds. Hmm, the, the way these flowers are lined up. Have I seen this arrangement somewhere before? Since it was during the winter, there was no flowers to... Since it was during the winter, there were no flowers to bloom. What a shame. Hmm, that's... What's this yellow flower? Hmm, why is there a single flower there? That is a lion lily. It's a very rare type of lily. Did you say lion lily? First with the passion flowers, and now with lion lilies. Francisca's turning into the into the floors to the Ace Attorney community. That's a flower Miss Courtney gave to the president. What's it doing here? What's it doing here? Could it be just a coincidence? If I recall, the lion lily originally originates from Asia. In the language of flowers, it means the bond between parent and child. I never knew you were so familiar with flowers. That much is common sense. You si you're simply lacking your studies, Ma's interest. But I swear, with all Francisca knows about flowers, just imagine her and Phoenix in a room like Phoenix, only knowing. Knowing about four types of flowers. <laughs> yes, yeah, in the red. And perhaps this is the true nature of the monster's footprints. True nature. Come out of the positions of the three, three footprints at the three flower beds on the left. Ah. The exposed areas of dirt match the areas where the flower beds were. So Blaze, so Blaze dug holes in, in front of of where each of the three flower beds used to be. Exactly. Now, why would you do such a thing? I believe we have a piece of it that tells us why. Why would Blaze dig holes in the ground near the flower bed? A report from Patricia Rowland to Blaze the Best. It says that something was laid to rest by the flower beds. So Blaze is following Miss Rowland's instructions to dig it up. But why would he dig up three holes? The report didn't say which of the three flower beds the item was dug in front of. Oh, so Blaze didn't know where exactly to dig. That's why he had to dig up all three spots. Most likely, yes. I'm sure Blaze himself was none too happy about that. <laughs> I don't know. With knowing Blaze, he probably was just visualizing Sebastian while he was just digging. Slamming that sledge hammer from the spot. Take that, Sebastian! Ugh! 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 called the ground, Sebastian. He went through all that trouble. I wonder what he try and dig up. These playground toys are modeled after a hare, after a hare and a fable, and a tortoise, like from the fable. The tortoise and the hare competed in a race, and in the end, the hare lost. And now for some completely different and for something completely different. It's time for the cake quiz! Why did the hair lose? There are three choices! Hmm. I already know the answer, it's because the hair took a nap. One of the hair's favorite shoes were stolen by the Agarazu. Two, the tortoise trained with the Agarazu until he came fast in the hair. Three, I've been asking the two animals, the Agarazu still the victory from the shadows. Those are my only choices. Is it too Is it too hard for you? Okay, I'll give you a hint. It's hard with the She wants me to pick number three. Okay. Lang. Three flower beds in snow. It's a Lang. What's the matter? Something strange. I wasn't able to read the SS fi case files until now. This place had all access to inf the information restricted. Yeah, that's right. And yet, I feel like I've seen this exact scene somewhere before. What do you mean? Where did I see this? If I could only remember. He looks at Thief and thought. I should leave him alone for a while. 
after the SS5 incident, the prison completely changed. Well, he must have felt like his trust had been betrayed. I guess it's only natural. He cut off all ties of the Lang Clan, putting an end to our deep bond of trust. My old man wanted to at least apologize in some way, so he tried to go see the president more times than I can count. Of course, the president refused to meet with him. He wouldn't even give him the time of day. I don't know if it was from the bodyguards, but there were times he'd come back all beaten up. <laughs> but st me standing around talking about the past doesn't do jack, does it? I shall be the judge of that for now. Just keep telling us what you know. You're starting. You're still as tagged as ever. Well, I figured you'd say as much. The fall of my old man was also the fall of the Lang Clan, the family that failed to protect the present. That's what we became. My old man started to investigate the case like he was possessed. Could someone so driven by obsession truly conduct a proper investigation? Sheesh. You really don't pull your pundit, Mr. Prosecutor. Don't think I blindly trusted in his investigation just because he's my old man. His investigating was meticulous down to the very last detail. Apparently, he even conducted a thorough interview with each and every kid at the orphanage. He interviewed every child? I wonder how fruitful his results were. Okay. Okay, I have to make sure, double checking. Boo, 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 boo. Doo, 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 doo. Okay. Sorry, just checking around. Okay. You have my heartfelt thanks for bringing John back. Oh, even the thought of him not coming back makes me... Hey, you man! Don't bully my man! No, no, that wasn't my intention! Oh, look him go! Mommy's a little nice shining armor! He's so cool! I not like that quick blabbing stupid stuff about me! John, please wait. May I proceed, Mr. Edgeworth? My actions were unbecoming of one who calls herself a servant of the glass of law. I won't ask for forgiveness. However, I... Judge Courtney, I am not as well acquainted with the gods of law as you are. However, isn't that goddess also a mother of all of other gods? <sighs> the law makes exceptions for in extenu extenuating circumstances. It's indeed a mother's heart. I'd say perhaps your god sympathizes with you more than you think. M Mr. Edgeworth. I don't get it. What the heck are you two babbling about? It's okay, John. I don't have a clue either. It seems the dice has settled one day after, on one, on day one of Patricia Rowland's trial. Yes, while a decision is yet to be reached, I would say a guilty verdict is quite likely. I'm sure a thorough investigation into her connection with Blaze will be conducted as well. After seeing Sebastian today, I know we can put our faith in him. Does that case, Sebastian is also in the midst of trading for the future ahead. Hmm, I see. When you say it like that, I guess we have more in common than I thought. I see a few mean things there, but the... I said a few things to him, so the next time we meet, I'd like to apologize to him. I'm sure he, you will get your opportunity, but for now. Yes, at present, solving this case is our top priority. What do you want? John, I'd like you to tell me the exact details of your kidnapping. You were kidnapped at the guard at Trickerberry, right? Where'd you, why'd you go there? I don't have to act goat. Act as a go-between, I need to talk to the old man directly. So he says. Looks like he's trying to warm up to you. I went to the garden to throw away the flowers I found in the body. I was, near, I was nearby, so I thought it'd be harder for to find there than if I just tossed him in a trash can. He was there last night too, but the gate was locked. And that's why you went to there again today. To dispose of them. Yeah, when I got there, someone gra suddenly grabbed me from behind. And you sleepy Z Z Z on you, right? Catching Z's is now super easy with sleepy Z Z Z. Kay, why are you borrowing the medicine? I want a sponsorship, Mr. Edgeworth. Even though she was a, also a victim to it, it seems like she has taken a liking to the slogan. Your Grammy was really strong, but that's all I know. I have no idea who it was. I see, so that's what happened. After the drugs wore off, did you do anything about your surroundings? Those drugs were brought to you by Sleepy Z Z Z. Catching Z is now super easy with Sleepy Z Z Z. It was kind of cold when I woke up. It was I was in a dark, empty room. 
boxes with foreign writing on them were lying around, so I figured I was in a warehouse. Her place was like a giant refrigerator. It was a commercial warehouse. That's right. John was rescued thanks to the collective efforts of K and Detective Gamshu. Since it was a bit cold, the goons unit power must have not been cut for too long. For, so for some reason, they didn't think to take my phone, so I used it to call for help. I see. In any case, it sounds good that you're safe and sound, John. Hmm. I don't need your sake, sympathy, old man. What an incorrigible child. He's just like a certain someone I know. Okay, we talk to them. Talk to Uncle Ray. This scene trip was a chill in your boat. Uncle Ray needs a hot babe to keep him warm. <laughs> Could you please try to be a little more serious? Ooh, if that's what Kay wants, I guess I have no choice. Miles, this is where it all began, isn't that right? Yes, I fear this is the case. What was Patricia and Blaze's true goal? There are still many mysteries yet to be solved. Indeed, it's just as you say. Partic part particularly, the mystery of what will happen to K. Ray's love. Isn't it suspenseful? <laughs> not even a not even a little. You couldn't resist, could you, Mr. Shields? Why can't you ever say serious for more than a minute? I think he's generally capable of saying serious for that long. <laughs> K. Ray. What scoop? Would y'all look at that? Those folks have done turn green. Maybe they're stick or something, but their clothes are green too. Ah, B, their clothes are all green too. I reckon this ain't no ordinary disease. You picked up on something good. Looks like you're taking it to the next level. Y yes, Chief. It looks like it looks like there's no way we'll be getting word edgewise. Not that I have any desire to intervene. Chief, hmm. I know it's not able to survive over us. Please, do a roll call, just like old times. Just like old times, huh? <laughs> well, look, uh, guess I have no choice. Roll call, one! Uh, I'm sorry. A roll call with one versus really lacking. That's nonsense. It's got nothing to do with numbers. Even though you're the only one here, the pack is always one, right? If you think I'm lacking, then uh, uh, if you think it's lacking, then how loud enough to make over the rest of the pack? Roll call! One! 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 Oh. That man, he's on the verge of tears. I think he's dying. Okay, I'm missing something. Yeah, I checked the area. Okay, what am I missing? This door, I remember seeing some door. Of course you would. It looks exactly like the Grand Tower door we saw earlier. But this is a recreation from 12 years ago. That means this door has been here since then. It seems that when the Grand Tower was built, they decided to reuse the door rather than destroy it. It's just like the old saying go, discover something new by heating up something old. Oh, it seems she understood the correct meaning of a saying for once. Hmm, but if you do, but if you're using a microwave to do it, don't heat it up for over five minutes. Okay. Yes, the bear glue. Okay, we checked the bear glue. Okay, we checked the snowman. Okay, we... Yeah, sorry, sorry. Okay, I think I should put this away for now. The yes, is uh, I even said that occurred 12 years ago. I guess I should tell you everything. My old man failed to break the, the country's number one VIP. Because of that, he put everything on the line in his hunt for the culprit after the incident. During that time, my old man, he was like a lifeless ghost. If he had just caught his prey, he might have been able to forgive himself. But that shrew Roland, she managed to get away scot-free. My old man couldn't repay his debt to the present, nor could he unravel the case. And so began the nightmare that our wolf pack still has and will get from to this day. Satisfied? When his clan's honor was damaged, young Lang's heart was wounded just as badly. Agent Lang, I, can't sympath I can sympathize with your father's regrets, however. All we can do is perform a thorough investigation of this case. I hope your words will serve as some kind of clue. That's all you had to say? Sheesh! All that talking was a real waste of time. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, I talked there. What am I missing, though? Really? What, what am I missing? Yes, I know! I know! Lion Lily! Well, I'm just going around in circles. What am I missing? Yes, yes. Okay. Okay. It was merely a joke. The gods of the Lord did not permit this gal to be used trivially. You looked right serious about it, though. What is this? Do you wish for me to crush it with my gal? Absolutely not! Yes, yes. Sorry about that. Place the best and Patricia Rowland are both connected to this case. That much we know for sure. Indeed, however, it seems there's more to it than that. Jill Crane and Present Wang, the key to understanding the link between their deaths lies here as well. The connection between them is the connection between them is tenuous at best. For that reason, we must tread carefully to follow it to its conclusion. In that case, we should take our time and carefully examine every nook and cranny. I even just replaced the little thieves' batteries with new ones. It runs on batteries. I suppose you would like me to tell you what exactly took place two nights ago and my reason for meeting with the president. Indeed, I'm sure you yourself can understand the importance of this matter. Yes, however, I cannot tell you yet. Not now, at least. She's determined to keep her heart closed. And without the ability to break the locks on her heart, I have no choice to give it up for now. Damn it, rights! Give me your psycho lock breaking device! Mr. Andrews, may I say one thing? This case was thrown into chaos because John tried to cover for me. I would like to take the time to offer my deepest apologies. Do not worry about yourself. My logic won't be swayed by a child's lies. Besides, I'm not so tired as to condemn a child for trying to protect his mother. At least not to her face. Besides, you were saying? Besides, you were saying? No, pay no mind. Mother and child, huh? What, what am I missing? Alright, oh, this spot right here. This pillar seems to be burnt. According to the files, it, it seems there was a fire on the evening of the incident. A fire? Hmm, let's see here. Huh, it says that one of the children at the or orphanage filled kerosene and set it on fire as a prank. I guess that kid had far too much energy. And thanks to that, we can't make out any of the footprints near the main hall. There we are! I keep missing that spot! We've learned pretty much all that we can about the situation at the time of the murder. Oh, in that case, is there another scene you'd like to recreate? Yes. Would you do the honors? I would like you to recreate the scene that when the victim witnessed the president's kidnapping. Right, I'll recreate the, the phone scene based on Mr. Cameron's photo. Mr. Cameron is standing in the middle of the flower bed. And the pre and the president and the his are standing on the road. My old man based his initial investigation on this man's eyewitness testimony. As a result, it led him to believe that the kidnapping and this facility were related. And that's how he came to smack the head of the orphanage, Patricia Rowland. Yeah. But in court place the best treated his testimony as if as if it meant nothing. Why would he do that? The president and his kidnapper were not sitting inside the orphanage grounds, so a connection between the orphanage and the kidnapping was difficult to prove. I see. It's not like they were inside the orphanage after all. No matter how much evidence the detective gathers at the crime scene, it doesn't mean squat the prosecutor won't use in court. Blaze the best had some kind of connection with Patricia Rowland. I figured they had some kind of deal going on. In other words, you think that Blaze was one of the kidnappers? However, your father was convinced that Patricia Rowland was the culprit. Your father was a highly capable investigator, I presume. Might he have had some other basis for his conclusion besides the eyewitness testimony? Yeah, I figured he did, but I have no idea what it was. My old man never really talked much about the case. Agent Nice's father, Dai Long Wang, President Wang's most trusted confidant. 
The truth he discovered was to press my blaze the best. Fast, we must find that hidden truth. I rest until I inspect every suspicious looking nook and cranny. I'm about the snowman! When we recreate the scene where Mr. Hammer's killed, it was it had already melted! A scarf for those all game, one of its my knives was missing! Indeed, at this stage it appears that most of its original form was still intact. Although there's one spot that looks unnaturally lacking. Poor thing! I bet some night kid was lucked it off! Off the evil snowman! Off that evil snowman! Freaking, I bet that snowman has some connection to that snowman. I glitched on the Banjo-Kazooie play. Let's play. And my Banjo-Kazooie Let's Play. Ugh. I hate that snowman. Although, from a teeth perspective, that kid does have some promise. Was it was it plucked off by one of the children at the orphanage? No, perhaps. It was taken off by an entirely different person altogether. Yes, is this spot related? <laughs> The snowman? Wouldn't you say it's missing something? Ah! It's my eye is missing! Precisely. And what's more that's missing, I happens to be in opposition. That button that Mr. Cameron's holding on to! It's got the exact same design as the snowman's left eye! If we assume this button was indeed the snowman's eye, a huge contradiction arises. If this button is the snowman's eye, that what contradiction arises? The location of the victim. I'm not going to go down anymore. I want to keep my meter up. The victim was holding on to the button. Furthermore, the button was stained with blood. In other words, he grabbed the button after he was attacked. For example, if he, we were to picture it in this way. After being struck in the back on the head, Mr. Cameron lost his balance. As he was falling, he reached out his hand towards the nearby snowman. However, he could not support his weight and he collapsed while still grasping the button. Huh, that means... Mr. Cameron was near the snowman when he was attacked! Indeed, at the very least, he must have been within arm's reach, however. It's quite clear that he would have been... He would not have been able to reach it from his current position. But Mr. Cameron's footprints only lay towards the flower bed! Can we be certain those footprints really are, really are Mr. Cameron's? It seems we will need to investigate them one more time. Understood! I'll recreate the time when the body was discovered thing one more time! Okay, recreate that in sync, eh? These footprints should match up with Mr. Cameron's shoes, right? Let's inspect them again. These, put these footprints, are they really Mr. Cameron's? They're from size to leather shoes, and these shoes footprints match up with Mr. Cameron's shoes. No matter, no matter how you look at it, they're moving steadily towards the center of the flower bed. But then, when Mr. Cameron was attacked, he grabbed the button from the snowman. Even with the great these peak human condition, your arm can't just stretch that far. Uh, unless he's Mr. Fantastic. Is he part of the, uh, the Fantastic Four, Mr. Edgeworth? No, okay, no. Let <laughs> alone well, an ordinary civilian, it'd be completely impossible. The footprint came from the shoes worn by the victim, just as the case file says. However, does that mean Mr. Cameron was the owner of these shoes? We should re-examine Mr. Cameron's shoes. Okay. I'm trying to investigate the shoes. These shoes should match the footprints, however. Hmm, these shoes. It seems like they were not the ones originally worn by the victim. What do you mean? If you look closer, you'll see the laces were tied sh up strangely. And the size doesn't seem to quite fit either. That would that mean these huge footprints leading up to the victim's feet were most likely made by someone other than the victim. So then the footprints linked to and from the victim's head must have been Mr. Cameron's. No, not necessarily. They seem a little too small to be the victim's footprints. So, so none of the footprints are his? Then which way did Mr. Cameron walk from? It's quite simple. The victim did not walk here on his own accord, but rather, he was carried here after he was murdered by the culprit. The question now becomes, where was he killed and carried from? Perhaps it was near the snowman after all. Okay. Okay. Okay, change your back. Okay.
No! These footprints. Are they really Mr. Cameron's? They're from size 11 shoes, and these huge footprints match up with Mr. Cameron's shoes. No matter how you look at it, they're moving steadily towards the center of the flower beds. Oh, when Mr. Cameron was attacked, he grabbed the snowman from... Uh, yes. Oh, yeah, we basically read the, this one already. Come on, come on, Kay. Move it, move it. Okay. Come on, Kay. Come on, come on. Yes, we already investigated. This is Brendan's before he was kidnapped at gunpoint. The president was strong, but there was no way he'd win against a gun. And Mr. Cameron's photographed this scene from the middle of the flower bed. There's something there's there's something highly unnatural about this. It would have been impossible for him to grab the snow as one from there. Indeed, we should examine the state of the other recreation once more. Okay, yeah, sorry. These footprints seem to be leaning from the to and from the body. These footprints were believed to be the culprits! The shit has the diamond, that's fairly average. Oh god, no! Okay. Okay. You know what? Actually, I think now would be a good time to end things off. I really appreciate that you stick around and watch this episode of your review. We go back for the next one. If you like this video, like, subscribe, comment, share, do whatever you want. And with that, I'll see you later. Bye.